Hi, I'm Dania Peterson, author of Mangiare e Amare, and today I'm going to show you how to make chicken cacciatore. The first thing we're going to do is heat up a half a cup of olive oil on medium high heat. While the olive oil is heating over medium, medium low actually is better, I've already washed the chicken. So now what I want to do is put the chicken and let it soak for a few minutes in three kind of just lightly whipped eggs. We're going to let that happen and then we're going to cut up our garlic and onions. The olive oil is heating and while that's heating, I'm going to go ahead and let the chicken kind of soak in three lightly whipped eggs. Then we're going to cut up the garlic and the onions. Now I'm going to whip the eggs. Alright, just lightly. You can add milk to this if you want, if you want to stretch it a little bit further. Actually, uh, I just like it like this. If I'm short on something, I'll add it. Now we're going to put our chicken in and let it sit. Just while we cut up the garlic and the onions. I've got a lot of pieces of chicken here, so I think we'll just do these. Though. And remember, every piece of chicken, uh, which I have now in here soaking, is six. Every, every single piece serves one person. I'm going to cut up four cloves of garlic. You can add more if you want because I love garlic. So I probably would add more, but your company might not. So. And we're going to do about a quarter cup of onion. Actually, I think I'm just going to slice it. It's faster and it blends in just fine. Takes a little doing. I chopped the garlic. All right, we have like three or four cloves. And I want to say, share something with you about my grandfather. He ate garlic sandwiches a, a lot, maybe a couple of times a week, along with his a little glass of vino, his red wine. And let me tell you, never took a pill in his life. Neither did my grandmother from all the good food, and especially from the area of Reggio Emilia. Now I'm going to slice. A, I'm going to slice a half a, a half of an onion, and a half of the Texas sweet because those are my favorite onions. I think they have Hawaiian sweet. Well, they have a lot of sweet, but they're the best. Now I'm going to add them to the sautéing olive oil. Okay, I want to add the garlic at the same time. Ooh, we have that nice smell.
Now that our onions and garlic are sauteing, we're ready to add the chicken, which has been marinating for oh, maybe 10 minutes or so. We're gonna dredge the chicken now in a mixture of Italian breadcrumbs and panko flour, which I love. Now we're ready to add two cups of chicken broth, and I'm going to add a can of diced tomatoes, one can of tomato sauce, and I'm going to add our seasoning. All right, we're going to add about oh, a tablespoon of like garlic, a tablespoon of garlic salt, probably a tablespoon of rosemary, which is one of my favorites, a tablespoon of basil, and a tablespoon uh, of parsley flakes. Then I'm going to add my best ingredient, which is a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And I have organic chicken broth.
now I'm going to I'm just cover it and simmer it for 30 minutes on medium low heat. Now our chicken cacciatore is cooked for 30 minutes on low. And now we're going to add our peppers, a quarter cup of mushrooms, and a few tomatoes. Just to give it a, a little bit of color. And we're going to let it cook for about 15 more minutes. And then it's ready to manja. You can take the seeds out of your peppers. Tiny peppers are the best because they're easy to cook, they're quick, and they're tasty. And you can add capers. A lot of people love capers. And you can add those if you like. But I think my family are having a plenty of capers. We've added our salt and pepper to taste. Fifteen more minutes on simmer, medium low or low, and we're ready to manjare. While our chicken cacciatore is finishing for like the last ten minutes, we're gonna get our bread and salad. Our bread is sliced. We have great bread. We don't eat it with butter. We eat it in, with vinegar and oil in a little saute dish or you know a little tiny dish you just mix your vinegar and oil and make sure that maybe there's a tiny bit more oil than vinegar that's the way I like it you take a piece of your bread you dip it in the vinegar and oil and you eat it no butter the Italians eat a fresh good bread a lot of they, they make they don't really eat a lot of sourdough Look at this. This is a French bread. They don't eat a lot of baguettes. They do in France, not in Italia. And we take our bread soft and put it in the vinegar and the oil that's mixed on your little plate. And that's it. No butter, nothing. And it's delicious and better for you. The chicken cacciatore is ready. Oh God, and it looks great. It's ready to be dished up. Ooh. And it looks super. It's white for a little bit of sauce over the top. And you know what? I'm going to put a little tiny bit of uh, our Asiago, our Pecorino. You can use the... Uh, you can use the other, the Reggie the, the Emilia cheese, but it's more expensive. This is cheaper, tastes good, Pecorino is great. We're going to put a little bit on top. It also makes it look pretty and tastes great. And we want our plates to look pretty, so wipe off all the excess that drips around. Our chicken cacciatore is ready to manja. 
Now we, we have our salad. I made our salad already with fresh arugula, a little bit of romaine. We have tomatoes, peppers, and I use the small peppers, a little bit of zucchini, a little bit of sliced onions, and maybe an eighth of a cup of fresh mushrooms. We're going to add feta cheese, and I'm going to mix it with balsamic vinegar and olive oil. And you can add your salt and pepper to, to taste. And we also have our nice fresh French bread ready. And I might add a little bit of my pecorino cheese because I'm a cheese lover. All right, and, and it makes it look so pretty on top. And this is ready. So we are ready to mangiare i pomori. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make the chicken cacciatore. I hope you try my recipe book, Mangiare i Amare, all from my mama's recipes in Reggio Emilia.